Hello friends, welcome to the shed. It's Friday. How are you today? I hope you're doing well, wherever you are in this world. It's Festivus. Happy Festivus. Uh, Festivus, uh, I threw this in this week just because it, it happened to fall on today. I don't actually really celebrate Festivus, uh, but I wanted to talk about it, and I wanted to see if any of you do. And while um, my posts about Festivus got a significant number of uh, likes and thumbs and clicks and all that stuff, nobody really shared anything. So I'm not sure... I think that everybody celebrates Festivus in spirit, not so much in the real world. Um, so if you're not aware what Festivus is, long ago there was a show on TV called Seinfeld. That was in the 90s, and it was pretty popular. Very popular. And it's maintained a like kind of a cult status since. I never enjoyed the show. I, I, it just wasn't my style. Uh, but... I have coworkers who are very into it, so they introduced me to a few of the things, and one of those is Festivus. And the idea was that um, one of the characters in the show, his father, created this fake holiday called Festivus after having a fight with another man over uh, the last of the hot holiday toy that year. And so he said, screw it, we're going to celebrate Festivus. And the idea is it's a Festivus for the rest of us. It's a secular holiday. And um, it, it really just consisted of a few different parts. Um, one was the airing of grievances, which was a thing that happened at dinner, where you just tell everybody how they disappointed you that year. Um, the other one was the feats of strength, which were uh, where Festivus doesn't end until the head of the household has been pinned in a wrestling match. Uh, and then there's, like, Kramer's thing was Festivus miracles and what you declare mundane everyday things to be a festivus miracle and it was uh signified by an aluminum pole that was just there you go no christmas tree just here's a pole and that was it uh the idea behind festivus was based on a a holiday called festivus that one of the writers uh o'keefe was his last name i don't remember his first name uh, one of his his dad came up with it, and it was essentially in their family. It was a long-standing tradition, and he said that it happened between September and May. Sometimes it coincided with Thanksgiving. It was completely, and you know, it didn't have a date like we set here on the you know the twenty third is Festivus, uh, and it just kind of happened whenever his dad felt like doing it. And they did the airing of grievances. It was done on a tape. They would just record. They would go into a room and record, like, why they were so disappointed that year. Um, they had a dinner. Their decorations didn't involve a Festivus pole. Uh, it involved a bag and a clock. And I believe he doesn't even know why his dad and his mom never told him what the bag and the clock signified. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's a Festivus for the rest of us. And, fun fact... That actually, uh, a Festivus for the rest of us was originally intended as the writer's uh, grandmother had died. And so it was a Festivus for the rest of us, meaning those of us that are still alive. Um, the the modern, or <laughs> modern, even though this is a very modern thing, the usage now seems to mean, like, for those of us who don't celebrate religious holidays, here's a secular holiday. Um, it's amusing. It's amusing to me. We set up a Festivus pole at work, <laughs> which I took the, we had like an aluminum coat hang, coat rack, and I took the hooky thingies off and just set it outside the door. Because all the, you know, I work in the education industry, so all of the, all of the upstairs ladies uh, have Christmas trees and they decorated their doors. And I said, we're going to do the same. So I stuck the pole outside the door and there, there you go. That's our Festivus pole. Um, it is what it is. I, I was hoping to see some of you uh, celebrating Festivus, but unfortunately, I think it's more like people celebrate it in spirit, and there's not really so much of an actual celebration of Festivus. Uh, tonight, though, we have um, a thing that my family does, uh, our own special uh, day, and it is not connected to the 23rd. It's usually on a Sunday, but it just didn't work out this year. And it's kids Christmas, essentially. And what it is, is my nephews and my daughters, for the last probably, I don't know, eight years, ten years, I, it's been a long-standing tradition. Uh, they go to the, to the dollar store or wherever, 
and buy everybody a, a just a, whatever a gift right and then we wrap them up the kids wanted to give christmas gifts um and so this was our way of doing it so the kids would get their gifts for everybody wrap them up and then we would all get together uh do this kids gifts uh kids christmas where they would give us their presents that they bought for us uh, and then we would order chinese food and watch a christmas story so that's my family's little tradition that falls outside of Christmas. I would love to know if you have any family traditions like that. I really enjoy the kids' Christmas. Uh, my nephews are now, one of them has grown up. He's an adult. Um, the other one is in that phase where he's getting ready to go to high school, and so he's not a kid anymore. No, he's in high school. No. He's getting ready to go to high school. He's not a kid anymore. And... Uh, So yeah, it, it, we, we are slowly but surely this little holiday of ours is going to kind of go away. But um, I would love to know if you have anything similar. Um, and I might try to figure out a way to keep this one going after the kids have all grown up. So we'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to share that story. So thank you for being here as always. I really do appreciate you. Um, if you celebrate Christmas this weekend, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. Um, yeah, it's going to be uh, a good week next week. I'm off all week, so I will be here doing something on this channel. I'm not sure what. Also, I will be doing gaming soon. I've been really thinking about doing some gaming stuff. I've seen some encouragement to do that, so I'm going to pick... I'm probably going to start off with uh, the Battle of Politopia, which I showed a few weeks back, and uh, do some gaming videos probably on the weekends. So stick around for that if you're interested. If you have any games that you want to suggest I play, please uh, let me know. So thank you. I love you very much. I will see you next week. Hey Doc, wait, I wanna ask you something. Today's random fact comes from Wikipedia. How much data is stored in the Library of Congress? A 2000 study by information scientists Peter Lyman and High Varian suggested that the amount of uncompressed textual data represented by the 26 million books then in the collection was 10 terabytes. The library makes millions of digital objects comprising tens of petabytes available to its American memory site. Petabytes. Whoa.